All right, all right, all right. Hello, 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 my babies. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl, Mama Feel for My Life. And yes, I am here today with a new episode of Like Talking About It. I want to thank everybody. I just want to thank everybody for coming and liking and sharing the video. Y'all know I always do that. I thank my subscribers, my 14 subscribers that subscribed on the YouTube page. I thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. And I wish you guys continue to subscribe. And when y'all subscribe, make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's get it going. Let's get it going. And I think it's a bell. I don't know if it is or not because I can't see it on my page. But I think it's a bell. So make sure y'all hit that bell to get the notifications when I do figure out how to go live on that YouTube, y'all. It's going to be on and popping, okay? What's up, what's up, what's up? Yes, I have one person. Hey, Miss Wynn. Thank you for joining, hun. What's going on, lady? What's going on? Yeah, Mama Fee is live. And y'all, I'm on my computer tonight, so I don't know if it look good. Miss Wynn, can you hear me? Y'all, let me know if y'all can hear me. Let me know what it looks like. Um, I know it's a glare off my glasses, okay, but that's a little different. But let me know what it sounds like, you guys. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Y'all know my notifications be coming in a little late, so hopefully it'll come in. I think it did. Let me check my phone, you guys. Really, I got this story up here. Hello, Miss Opal. Thank you, honey, for joining. Hello, my babies. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yes. Mama Fee and Unc is in the house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We in the building. We in the building. Coming to you guys once again with another episode of like talking about it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you can't be moving the table. <laughs> you know, I bought a computer and my table kind of wobbly. So, you know. Yes, hey, Miss Opal, baby. So I'm trying to get everything together, y'all. But I'm here. We here. We here. And I can't wait to talk tonight, y'all, because y'all know it's been, woo, it's been a lot going on. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, y'all. Y'all know I got that cough, and y'all know I got that drink on deck. Mm. It ain't Kool-Aid tonight, I tell y'all that. Mm. Which I think it is. <laughs> it ain't Kool-Aid tonight. You know what I'm saying? Which I know I get thirsty in between my conversations. So if y'all see me sipping on my little drink, don't even worry about it. It's just it's gonna be okay. Oh, thank you. Good, good, good. All right, Miss Wynn. Loud and clear. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, that's good. Cause I need everybody to hear me. Cause I, you know, I only went live like maybe two times on the computer. Okay, yeah, maybe so. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Miss Wynn. Miss Wynn say you look so pretty. Oh, thank you, honey. You know Mama Phoebe looking rough. I had to get it together real quick just to do the show. <laughs> On some real talk. I had to get it together real quick. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh baby. Yeah, I had to get it together, but it's okay. It's okay. We got some things going on in the background, y'all. I told y'all we'd be live. We live, and we don't never know what's going to happen. So whatever y'all expect, uh, it, is what this, it is what it is, okay? Just letting y'all know. Because, <laughs> hey, it be like that sometimes. It be like that. But y'all know I don't like to keep y'all long. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to keep y'all long. But baby, let me go ahead and get on this right quick. Now, this been going viral all day, y'all. And yes, I, I wanted to talk about it like talking about it. This man on the roof. Now, I know, okay, nobody say they haven't seen that video. Because baby, that video has went viral. This man on top of that roof in Valero in Houston, baby. I don't know what he was thinking. I know y'all. I keep telling him he can't be moving the table because the table keep messing up. And you got to get in here. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. You got to get on in here. Y'all know he be on the side sneaking. You know, he be like, he come in and peep his head in every so often. Uh-oh, we got Unc in the building. What's up, what's up, Unc? How you doing tonight, Unc? 
Let the people know what's up. What up, yo? What up, world, man? Uncle Four Five, vernacular mouthpiece. You dig? Coming to you live, like talking about it. Also, with my wife, my lovely wife. Oh. Aww. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, but uh, I was talking about this man today because you know this video has went viral. Like everybody has been throwing watch parties for people to see it. I was looking at one of the watch parties, and one of the ladies that was recording had like eight thousand views on there. Okay, y'all. Now, what was going on with that? Do anybody know that story? Because I can tell y'all, I got I was looking for it on the news because they did have a newsman out there, Channel Thirteen Houston News was out there at the time um and i was looking it up you know i was trying to find it but i just ran into it i don't know if it was from me this particular news person or something but um let me read it to y'all let me read y'all what, what they say happened they say a man climbed on the roof of a houston valero station early this morning and captured the city's attention on social media the it's a houston thing facebook account hosted a watch party for the live video but ended suddenly moments ago. No word yet on what happened to the man. The rumor online is that his wife had left him and this incident was a reaction to that. What y'all think about that? What y'all think about that? They say that his wife had left him. Now, from what I was seeing on the uh, video, I don't know how the man got on the roof of the Valero gas station. He was up there. He was uh, kind of like walking the balance beam up and down the station, you know, up and down on the roof. He even started dancing, y'all. He started dancing. He started rapping. Like, he started dancing. He started rapping. Like, he was, and he asked for some cigarettes. They gave him some cigarettes. Oh, yeah, he was up there smoking. He was dancing. He was rapping. At one point, he wrapped a wire around his neck. Like, he was fit to just fall from the wire off the roof. Like, I don't know, y'all. What y'all think? Do y'all, I know y'all seen the video now. I talked to many people. I know y'all seen that video. Yes, wow. Exactly. Exactly. Like, I didn't, I don't know. I mean, like, hearing the people in the background on some of those live videos through the watch party, some people were saying he was on drugs. You know, some people were saying, like they said, the rumor allegedly uh, his wife had left him. And um, I'm pulling it up right now, but it's a whole hour. Well, wait a it's a whole two hours. That they were sitting there like people actually was supposed to be bringing their kids to school and stopped and watched this the, the kids ain't even go to school because they stopped to watch this to record it for a whole two hours of the man sitting up there dancing and parading like so he was he about fall, to kill himself he fall off? no he didn't fall off no he didn't fall off so what we have here is uh, a case of retardation <laughs> um, you mean to tell me a man went on the roof as I'm looking at now? Right. And you taking him serious because he's on top of the roof. Of he course, can, he can he can die. There is a fifty fifty chance because you like somebody said. Oh no, ain't somebody no... got mad. Somebody said y'all laughing about this situation, but don't nobody know what's going on in that person's mind, which is true. You well, understand well, what, what I'm what, saying? What, like yeah, he yeah, could have been taking yeah, this yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, before we turn this into something that is not it's okay, turn it serious. But uh huh. I'm that, just telling you that, the comments that, that was made. That person is true. First of all, if a man goes on the roof, if anybody gets on the roof, a child, a man, woman, whatever, get on the roof, you're thinking suicide, things like that. You know, they, they lost it. For a person to go up there and pay. Start dancing. Hey, give me a cigarette. Say, hey, when that happened, then no, bro, that that's uh, that's what we call a attention that these people want. Yeah, a lot of people were saying it's like not, no. there was a lot of people saying that he was just doing it for attention because his wife didn't wasn't giving him that attention that he needed. And like I said, allegedly, she had um, stopped messing with him. 
And then at the same time, hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. My comments, I don't see no comments popping up. Um, Okay, there we go. I may have to keep putting it down. Hello, Toy Baby. Thank you for joining. I'm sorry, you guys, if I hadn't seen y'all comments because uh, I thought the comments was going to stroll down by themselves, but look like I may have to be putting them down, putting them down. Okay, okay. Miss Ice, I ain't never seen you look rough. Girl, please. <laughs> but thank you. Man, once that dude came down, they should have right then said, uh, look, when he asked for that cigarette, say, oh, bring your ass down. You didn't see it, Miss yeah, Opal? Girl, it's yeah. been all over. It's been all over, like, Facebook. Everywhere. Yeah. Everybody has seen it. See, that's one of them times you wish you was the Lord and you could just made about eight pigeons go up there and get to pick in his ass while he was right at the head. Miss Ida say, like, girl, that man must have been on drugs. Say, no, get your ass down. <laughs> Hey, Toy, baby. Thank you for joining. I'm sorry. I'm just reading the comments. Um, Toy, thank you. I am old. Okay, hold on, y'all. I got to catch up because I didn't. I knew I was like tripping. Like, what my comments said. I know y'all got comments, so just hold on, y'all. I'm coming. Toy said, shaking my head. Rather go viral than to get your kids some education. That part. Like, she actually literally, this the person, well, this is one person I was watching. She, um, somebody else had a started a watch party from her live, and she was dropping her kids off at school and seeing that and completely stopped and was there for two hours. Well, let me, let me say this, too. You know, uh, I heard when I was at the job, I had somebody watching it live also, and I heard, and, you know, it's funny how people could do things and people be quick to pull out their cameras and everything. Instead of trying to talk the man down, somebody told him, say, man, turn the flip. up. And I said, man, what? Wait, you heard somebody tell him to turn the flip up there on the roof? He yeah, act like he was going to jump down. They said, man, turn the flip. up. Now, instead of them encouraging him to come down, you know, you know, like they say, you don't know what he was going through. I mean, wow. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, Miss Wynn said the police was threatening to shoot him. Yes, they was. They was. They was going to well, yeah, shoot him. Yes, they were supposed to. You think they were supposed to? Or yeah. was they supposed to negotiate? Yeah, like, they to talk him? To do that. I think they was talking to so him, but he wasn't trying are, to hear it. You have to say, that's what I'm saying. You have to say something to shake him up. I told you that's a case of retardation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Boy, pep. I told Miss Wednesday, I told him he wasn't going to jump. He was seeking attention. Right. No, right. What they should have did when they went up there to get him, uh, Ken Fogel pushed him down. They got said, no, we ain't come up here to come get you. And save him. They said, no, we're going to make sure you jump down. They like, jump. And look, a lot of people were saying, let him jump. Let him jump. It ain't that yeah, far. Oh, yeah. Like, he ain't going to do nothing but break a couple of legs or stop breaking his legs. Man. Like, people was being so rude about it. To me, they was being rude and mean. They was like, just tell him to jump. Go and jump in. All his <laughs> legs would have gave out. Because he really wasn't that far, y'all. That, that Malero <laughs> thing. But it was far enough for him to break something if he would have tried to jump. Okay? So, yeah, I think he was seeking a little attention, too. But like like somebody said, though, you know, we never know what's going on in a person's mind and what they're going through. And you don't know you how high he I'm was saying? in the air, neither. We talk, high, we, 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 we don't know that. We ain't up in the air with him. But I mean, if you stand on the roof, he probably was pretty high. If you look up there and look down, he probably do look like a far away. Okay, Miss Latoya say, uh, if he crazy enough to climb up there, he crazy enough to hurt her. He needs to get over himself. Mm. Well, wow, you think? Well, you know what though, I'm gonna say it is though. You know that you know in relationships when someone don't want to let go, they'll go to the ultimate sometimes. You dig? So I mean, hey, excuse me. That was the case. He wanted some attention. He, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? This girl wasn't having it. And at the same yeah. time, they did say that she did pull up. The wife did pull up, but they say she was in the and car. And what she said, boy, get your ass down. No, I don't know. They didn't say. They just was like, she's sitting in the car over there, you know, at the gas station. And then um, when one of the videos I watched, like, the news people had came, and they had a lady talking to the newsman. And I guess she was giving the information that, that she knew. And I can hear another lady in the background going off. Like, she started going off on the girl, on the lady. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. Shut the F up. You know, the woman in my car and the wife in my car. And, like, like she probably was somebody, a friend of the wife or whatever. Hey, God, hey, girl, I'm going to put some off. Kung Fu on you. Don't mess with that. 
You're going to make me put this woman, this Kung Fu on you. Oh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm talking to Miss Liddy, y'all. Uh, yeah, so, like, is y'all commenting? Okay. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so I don't know, like, oh, come on. Like, she was there. Okay, Miss Ida, what you say? You took the armor to go there. No, it didn't. No, right, the live. Um, the she, Miss Ida said the live. I was uh, on the lady said take one person. His push wife off. didn't want to have anything to do with with him. Right, she stated the wife said that that's why she left him because of how he was acting today. Oh, so he but he was gonna kill himself. His man is in love. It took the army to do. Yes, it took the army to go up there and get him exactly. Baby, the SWAT, uh, what you call the army? I don't know if it was the army or the SWAT team, but but baby, they went up there and got that man. Man, all they need. But then to it do, took like two hours. Hey, like, send the city laws out there with them double mm -hmm. barrels and let them sit out there and get on one knee, and I guarantee you gonna get down. No, but the city laws was out there, but they wasn't touching the situation. They were just letting the man act up. Man, they got the point with them with them infrareds and stuff. He he came down. Yeah, men for reds make you change your mind. Yes, his wife was there just sitting in the car. Exactly. Hey, tomorrow, your baby. Thank you for joining. Yeah, Jamar, did you see it? It was all over everywhere. I know you've seen it. The man on top of the roof. Um, Sitting up there, girl. Yeah, probably said, Let me do it again. Wait a minute. Did he start day. rapping, y'all? He started rapping. Oh, retardation. Wait a minute, he pulled his pants off. Did y'all see that? Man, what? He pulled his pants off. He was up there in his boxers. What the hell he pulled his draw? I mean, his pants off. I don't off, know. Man. I don't know. He pulled hey. his pants off. I don't know. I think he threw him at the laws because they said they had a lawman in the tree. Say, look. They were trying to get to him. I was trying to talk to him. Say, I guess. Trump. Just stop letting that fake shit get through here, man. Say, hey, man, you can fucking these boys up. You see people up here standing on buildings and shit, man. Yes, all right, standing man. on God buildings. Damn. And somebody, when I heard one man, of the men was like, X and all that shit. You better take that shit and get with somebody else. Well, one of the men that was uh that was recording out there recording was like, oh man, he on there wet. He mm. on there, he on there wet. He tripping. Like, <laughs> like they were saying, like he on there wet. He tripping. And then you can hear another man say, get your maybe one of his homeboys or something. Get your head down from there, nigga. And woo woo woo. Turn yes. the like it was crazy, y'all. It was so crazy. Is crazy. Hey, hey, man. But I don't. I mean, but I don't hey, understand. Man. Do y'all think? I mean, what y'all think? Yeah, we got old Lee. Say hi to the beat. Hey. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all, y'all see? I got my baby. I got see, one of my babies like in the building about tonight. See, yeah, like talking about it. I got one of my babies in the building. See? Look, he trying to make Giovanni. No, baby. <laughs> no, baby. You can't mess with that. You can't mess with that little boy. Y'all, I got one of my babies. I told y'all I'm live, so you never know what you're gonna get. Y'all love my baby. Look how cute he is, y'all. He's so adorable. Uh okay, let me get back to the topic. Uh retardation. Okay, Miss Toy, you say I wasn't trying to be insensitive. I don't understand. Uh I didn't understand. Was it attention? Had he really snapped from hurt or was it drug induced? Bitch standing up rapping and couldn't understand. I couldn't understand exactly. Like we don't know. That's what I'm saying. Was it the drugs or was he just really hurt? Man, that boy was on the room and asked the law to be box for him, and then starts rapping up there. Um, as I would say, he might have been having a psychology. What is that? Psychology. Or a psychological breakdown, and the wife was just tired of how he gets when that happens. Police are now trained to deal with mental health people in the public. That's why they didn't do him harm. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, you know what? That's true, Miss Opal. They are training to. Um, because me and my my husband was looking at some of those uh videos. They are training to deal with the people with the mental health issues. So yeah, you're right. That might have been the case far as the uh the local police officers like i don't know where the swat team army team came from but they came up there and um they pulled that ladder up there and they got him and after that like we didn't see any more 
We don't know what happened to the man. They haven't said that he's going to the hospital or anything like that. So we don't know what's really going on with the story. So I'm waiting to see what they say. I, like I said, I've been trying to look it up, but I really haven't found anything on it. Except what I read to you guys. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of crazy, you guys. Like, it was wild. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Yes, Miss Wynn. He is cute. Don't mess with Papa Cigarettes. I don't want you to never smoke cigarettes. that. It was the last little mama. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, you going to talk, Giovanni? You got something to say about that? Tell the people, say, hey, man, stay off, tell them, stay off the roof. Do you think he was crazy, Giovanni, or what? Yes. Or did he have some yes, mental yes, issues? Stay off uh, the roof. Tell him, stay off the roof. He trying to touch buttons, y'all. No, 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 no. You can't no, spell no. it to him. You don't know how to spell it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it was either the drugs, you guys, or, I mean, I can't say. I wasn't there. I don't know the man. I don't know the situation. But I don't know. Either it was drugs or the man was really hurt. Oh. What y'all think? I don't oh. know. Was that 49 eggs? Oh, that was some 49 eggs. That, that blue bag. Oh. You took no trip to the airline. Yeah, I don't know if my comments coming in slow or what. I'm trying to like keep up with you guys, but I don't know what's going on with my cell no computer, but you know. We're going to work it out. It's going to work itself out. Oh, you the cop duty. Yeah. Oh, the King Kong duty. Uh oh. Yeah, you <laughs> duty. You know. You're probably farting on you. Hold on, y'all. I'm getting it. What the people say, man? That dude retarded that, Uncle Roy. Thank you. Read what uh, Miss Wynn said. It was that little uh, net already. Bazooka. Getting folks. Eel Nana got it. She said that Eel Nana got him. Wait a minute. Is that what it's they called? Eel Nana? See how they treat those people in prison. They say, oh my God. They see filed a lawsuit. Yeah, they need to put lawsuits on all Egypt. See, you gotta understand, man. It's, it's understood how it is in jail, or uh, can folk, you know, they gonna treat you like you're in jail. You dig? So I mean, hey, this thing's just not go to that bad boy. Yeah, we was just looking that up also, y'all, on, on the jail, no the prison systems uh, in L.A. and um, <clears throat> where else we was looking? Mississippi. Mississippi, right? We was looking all that up, you guys, and it's horrible. Like it's it's horrible how they doing these these people. Um, they are humans, regardless to how, you know, regardless to how, yeah, they are still humans, you know, they shouldn't be treated like animals, and I don't know, for some reason, these people in America feel like we are animals, and, and they can just treat us any type of way, and, but we all know it's all about the money, though, because, you know, they get paid for every prisoner that's in there. <clears throat> okay, let that lock us down, though. We ain't no animals. You know, even though we want to call ourselves beasts and all that. Because on um, one of those uh one of those videos, what they say that like a thousand uh people get out and three thousand more come in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 the amount of money that they get and every time somebody go in there. Oh, yeah. And it's yeah, they not gonna treat thing. you like uh that's your house thing. or anything. No. It's disgusting. See old people in Mississippi they had rats and all that too. <laughs> yeah, the baby probably forty, y'all. Y'all got another no, baby probably forty. Oh man. oh man, it's okay. We try not to break no wind on live and anything. No, we did see um, we did see those videos, Miss Ida, and it's horrible. I think I even seen one that had blood, like all over the floor. Yeah, they, and... they had they had rats and mold, all that type of stuff, and then you know they, they really didn't care for the people at all. You know, fed them once a day. You know, Bun B was one of the first people to step out and speak on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, big ups to him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right. He stepped in on it, you know, just as well as Jay Z and uh, Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti. Big ups to him, for sure. Big up to Boss Man or Gotti. 
you dig? You know, just to step up and even want to say something. You know what I'm saying? Mm, that's big. You know what I'm saying? But do y'all think that's going to matter? Um, I mean, by the celebrities stepping up and taking action, do y'all think that's going to even matter to what happens? That That's what it's going to take, somebody on that on that level, you know what I'm saying, to do that. So, yeah, I, I feel that it can make a difference. Because they have the money to make the difference also. You know what I'm saying? Also the resources. I want you to not cry. No. Like, hey, uh, I understand they committed crime, but man, that ain't big animals that you did. Mm-hmm. You know, me, uh, me and Mama Fee was looking, doing some research last night on that, and the way they, you know, where a lot of judges look at it is, how can you, how, how do you treat someone, especially let's say someone young of age, you know what I'm saying, that maybe killed three or four people, you know what I'm saying, they 13 or 14, I mean, you can't, you know, they, they're making their business not to take a light on them, you know what I'm saying, so. You know, I thought it was kind of wild, you know what I'm saying? Because I know it got to be some type of re rehabilitation. You know, other than just going to jail. That sure is not Okay, what Miss Toya said? Yeah, she said that they committed crime. Yeah, they committed crime. Mm -hmm. But but he, he, but you know, Ken folk, you know uh, you know who was hand that's in, you did. I mean, we can we can speak on it, you know what I'm saying? We can march on it, but you don't really who has to see. And we started to hear about that cousin, uh, cousin, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to lose anybody, you know. So yeah, we started to hear about the loss of your your baby's uh, father. So okay. We love you, honey. Okay, so uh, Toya said no. I mean, yeah, Toy said no. Okay, Ida, yeah, send me some. I mean, like I said, I already kind of seen some of it already, Miss Ida. Yeah, um, Toy, straight to the point. Nope. So you don't think it's going gonna, it's gonna to affect? Yeah, Miss Ida, hold on. I'm jumping off the conversation. Yeah, I kind of seen some of it, but um, I really didn't. I'm telling you the truth. I really didn't want to look at it. I mean, because it just disgusted me out. Um. It pisses me off, but it's not like like I don't know how we can make a difference. That's what I'm saying. Um, hopefully, the celebrities can step in and and do their part since they the ones they got the big money. Um, and hopefully, we'll see some change come. But I I don't know. But I don't know, know about at it. At the same same time, we gotta look at reality too. You know, um, this is gonna take somebody with with, with, with high position because that's people of power. So, I mean, you speak of trying to change that, it's going to take some more to power. Yeah, I mean, Zoka say that at all. It'll bring attention to the situation, but not change it. Right. I, we just said that. Right. We we we're just not, said that. Tonight, enough. we just said that. Yeah, we're not together enough like that. That's what we got in this Hey, look. Wow. Yeah, I, I, really? I, 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 I'll tell you this, kid, folks. You got you know, stage man. three cancer. So far as the South, I could say, you know, people out here, you know what I'm saying? When you're in jail, I mean, you can actually die up there, you dig? I mean, because they feel like it just ain't their job. Their job is just to watch. You dig what I'm saying? I mean, hey, if somebody let me know, cool. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, you know, hey, it is what it is. You in jail, they going to treat you like that. Yeah, so I mean, I feel for people like that because you have people all the time, you know, I can go, you know what I'm saying, to the infirmary and feel that they're sick or what have you. And you know, sometimes they'll let you go, you know what I'm saying? Cool. But the only thing about it, I mean, what is it doing for you when you do go there? Because I mean, there's only so much they're going to do for you. They're not a hospital. Yeah. <laughs> but, Miss Ida, look, this is my question. Like, some people probably feel like they shouldn't, like, we shouldn't have no sympathy for these people because mm -hmm. some of those people are murderers. You know, some of them not in there for, like, major stuff, but some of them is in there. They're murderers, rapists, uh, perverse, molesters. You know what I'm saying? Like, so some people probably feel like they don't have no sympathy for them people. You understand what I'm saying? So, the point right there. Right. Because, I mean, when you think about it, I mean, you say, you, I mean, hey, Mercedes, baby, thank you well, for joining, well, huh? What we're speaking of is, is, you know what I'm saying, showing favor, a little bit more favor toward these people. I mean, I, I mean, let's do speak all the way on. Let's go all the way in on it. Let's, let's speak on the molesters and the child abuse that beat kids and killed them. I mean, 
uh, people that sexually, you know, had sex with kids. I mean, hey, I mean, you going you gonna treat them a certain way. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it ain't like you if you the judge, you gonna go in there and say, hey, do five days and you could, you can go back out there and you had the opportunity to do it again. Yeah, you gonna keep it to them. You know what I'm saying? And not saying they right, but I mean, that's just how the human mind, I guess, would think. Wow. All right off top. Well, no, you finna get it. <laughs> I'm reading the comments, y'all. Just hold on. Uh, Miss Toya, okay. He was in he was in there. Wait, he was there in jail. They mentioned the fact of the inmates in cancer. He died of cancer. He died days before, then released him home for hospice. These jails have so much immunity. Yeah. Yeah, and that's so. Oh, that is so sad. Because it takes someone of power to go up against them. You, you did. It's gonna take someone of power to go up against them. Well, thank you, Mercedes. I appreciate you being here, baby. Finally. Wow. <laughs> thank you, Mercedes. Say uh, you in the building. The uh, the thank you, honey. Make sure y'all go like and share and subscribe, man. Y'all know what it is. Like oh, talking about like it. I said my cousin passed away in the hole and cell in jail. They thought he was drunk, but he passed out. They left him on the floor for hours. They had checked on him. They had health issues. They had no alcohol was in the system. Wow. Really, Miss Opal? Well, see, it was, see, the thing about that, you know, Opal, man, you know, uh, you could take legal action on things like that because, you know, it's. What it is, is is very important in, because it's their job to keep an eye out. You understand what I'm saying? But you also have to remember, you got people from just county to even penitentiaries that's hanging themselves. I mean, how does that happen and you, you in there? I mean, if you care. Right. You dig? So if you don't care, of course, a lot of things can happen. Hello, 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 beautiful babies. I got seven people watching. No, I haven't seen everybody that then popped up. My comments is kind of going slow, you guys. So I just thank everyone for watching. I, I, I wish you guys go like and share. Um, and make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube. Yeah. I like talking about and you're, it. And you're right, Ken, folk. But you know the, the key word to it? But. He say funding what miss wynn said so if they have to put out more money instead of making money probably thinking about it about money it's not about their well-being oh that is horrible <coughs> excuse me yeah that is horrible they haven't taken baths man like come on yeah they have full control yeah, prison don't need to be five star prison. Good enough to pay with the cookie. And and Toy, you you absolutely right, Toy. But like I said, I can't speak for every prison, but the attitude, you know, first first of all, you know, just the attitude of the guards. They like I said, they feel like, look, I'm just here to work my little ten, eight, nine. 12 hours or whatever. They don't give a, they don't, don't care. care. They don't I give a will, damn. I could come in here, I turn the air conditioning on 10 degrees. And they just want to make jackets. they check and go home. You know, how I'll many really there, how many really care about and eat some the fried barbecue crabs in front of y'all and be looking at y'all. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just how it is. You know, and their main thing is you in jail. So expect that. You know what I'm saying? Expect not to do what you need to do or do what you want to do. You feel what I'm saying? But at least treat me like humans. What I'm saying. I mean, yeah. Hey, Chanel, baby. Thank you for joining. Yeah, we're not, of course, you're not going to get the five star hotel toy. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to, of course, but don't treat them like that at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Regardless if they, um, of whatever crime they committed, you don't have to treat them like that, though. Like, come on now. You have to understand that the, the police are still human too. Hey, man, you know hey, what I'm saying? hey, hey. So they gonna be thinking just like anybody else thinking. Let let's say we 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 got a race or a rapist we have to convict or whatever, and we he walk in the first thing we gonna do is judge. This is a rapist, right? And yeah, you gonna be like, oh hell no, nah, man, I forget his name, that body is, man. So you done already. You know what I'm saying? Got a, you know what I'm saying? Got a, 
a thought of what you want to do about this before you can even really look into the case. So they already prejudged so, before they yeah, even get in there, because as long as they know yeah. the situation. So they they already got in their mind how they gonna treat this person because of yeah. what they did done. Mm -hmm. If you man, if you go just think about it, how he look, he come in there dressed, a bunch of tattoos, all that stuff, tattoos all in his face. Man, people gonna be like, man, this dude's a monster. Mm, they gonna look at him like that's a monster. So they gonna treat him like a monster yeah. because they looking they at him like a monster. Treat him like that. Mm, that. That's not right though. Policemen gonna feel like, well, hey, he think he bad. So they gonna try to prove he not bad. That just that's just how it goes. But then that's a man's thing, so no other level. Excuse me. And then at the same time, y'all, they start losing their minds. Like those people, those men and, and women in that in those prison systems, they start losing their minds. What mind? You eating once a day. It's what true. what do you have to think off of? <laughs> you sleeping with rats jumping over the top of you. I mean, come on, really? Shit. <laughs> Yes, Miss. I just say I don't know y'all. I just have a heart. I wouldn't wish that type of situation on my worst enemy. Facts. I mean, look. But you, hey, you made a valid point right there. Stop. Understand, you dealing with the enemy. <laughs> you keep rocking the table, y'all. I keep telling you to the table. Not right. They not gonna show love. They get paid to do you bad. Oh, you're not taking over my baby. I love the comments. That's what we're here for. To get the comments. We love the comments. What you mean? Take over. You're not taking over, baby. If anybody else hey, that won't hey, let's hey if anybody else have something to talk say. Up like talking about it. Let's talk about it like talking about it. Say yeah, what you're trying to say. And we can discuss it. Going okay. through something, whatever. We're not judging we're not this judging nobody's for. opinion because no. that's what there are, is opinions. We have our opinion, y'all have your opinion. So let's talk about it like we are about here it. for hey. you. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's what we're here. That's yeah, what we do. People. That's what we love. Talking to you guys. Yeah. So don't never think that you're taking over, my baby. Never. Yeah. Okay? Oh, cook up. No residue. It's Just bad, like... y'all. Real bad. I know. It, right. it really is. It's real bad. But that's the thing. It's, it's not just bad in that particular system. You know what I'm saying? It's bad in all of them, Miss Ida. It's just this particular system, uh, prison system, they was able to get a phone and was able to actually show what was going on. But it's bad in all of them. But at the end of the day, it starts with us. But we don't even have to be going to those places. You know what I'm saying? But they could take advantage of us. So we have to change our minds that we did. Mm, facts. Whole nother conversation. Whole nother like talking about it. <laughs> like for real, for real. Like, come on now. That's facts. Give me all too many kung fu lessons. She said I changed the whole conversation. No, yeah, it's okay. okay. That's what we're here yeah, for. We're here for. It's okay. That's what we're here for. That's an awesome thing. If, if you relate to anything we speaking on, you feel a way, hey, I need to say something. Yes, I need to get please something say something. Out. Say, look, that's the problem. A lot of people don't have lanes to release. This is your lane to release. Hello, you know, people. I release. have we have eight people watching you guys, so I can't see who all they popped Real in just job. yet. Because the comments is coming in slow, you guys. But thank you guys for watching. Go like and share the video, you guys. In your comments don't have to, you know, go with everybody's essence comments. I mean, if you feel different, you say to that. Voice your it's opinion. It's a big deal. Voice your it's opinion. Love. It's okay. It's love. This is what we're here for. It's okay. Voice your opinion. Like I say, we don't judge opinions because exactly. we all have exactly. one, right? We all so, have something. Little. You may have something off. We have. We can agree to disagree, you know, exactly. but it's, it's, it's our opinions. So don't trip. It's all good. It's all love. You know, people who say, well, but she never feels good. Right. Right. But then that's the whole thing. You can't allow that. You can't allow that toy. Okay, so I say, then you have people who say, well, they shouldn't have put themselves way they where what themselves yeah, there they then they wouldn't have, have to, to deal, deal with it hey that goes with that intellectual property that'll work that bad boy a lot of people don't have it. a lot of people don't have common sense so i mean they're gonna find themselves in that position and once you get in that position as grandma say get them folks in your business that's it
I mean, but at the same time, sometimes people do things out of emotions. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So you don't know how far a person will go. Not saying that they want to do it. Some people, like, don't get me wrong, the people that's out there raping these babies and doing stuff like that, they know what they're doing. Okay, but I'm talking like the ones that's just like selling drugs and stuff like that and in there for a long time for selling drugs, stuff like that. Like that's the that's oh. not even like that's the stuff they shouldn't even like be hardly having that much time for drugs. Like that's crazy. They got real murderers that's killing whole families, you know, out there, you know, that's yeah. That's but at the same time trick. they react off of the things that they're surrounded by. Oh. Okay, Miss Diane say, but we as taxpayers are paying to house these inmates. So right. where is our money going? Wow. Well, you know, it's when, going to the when system. You're paying, <laughs> when you're paying these taxes, it is going to them. The only thing about it is, what is it going to? You dig what I'm saying? You have, and you know, especially out here. I mean, if you just even just look at the school system, man, you got people that have been caught stealing the money, putting the money in the wrong places, which will be in their pockets, things like that. I mean, you'll never know, King Folk. I mean, there's people of power. All you know is once they get the money, it disappears and it goes wherever they feel like it needs to go. That's all. Uh, it may be, you know, to fix a better office in there, you know, where they're at or something, or put some leather chairs or something in there instead of helping people. Mm-hmm. The way prisons are treated, uh prison staff is a choice. Staff is well, the and, and as facts, thing about that, Opal is when people go to work, they already have that attitude. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to a job, this is prisoners, I have to put a certain mask on. I have to show them I'm not playing. I'm not no cool person. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be sensible or none of that stuff. I'm just here to do my hours, and you just do what I tell you, and that's it. You're basically slaves in jail. Oh yeah. And them COs getting there, they're not trying to hear that. You most definitely that. And I know a few people that work for the prison system right you now. Got to some this day, good, right you now. Have some um, good. and I just say kudos to y'all because I don't think I can work in the prison system. I just can't. It is a hard job. Don't get me wrong. Especially as women. I don't know how they do it. Like I was telling uh, um, I don't know how women take on their job. How do y'all do it? Man. Do y'all know women that work, I mean, in the, in the prison system? How do y'all do it? How do y'all take on a job like that? They gotta be wild. Yes, Miss Wynn, some of the staff go to work with attitudes to take it out on you. Right, they then, do. Then you have to understand what human in the world doesn't like control. Mm. When you know you can go into a staff of people and say, "Look, do what I say and everything I say." Mm. You have all the power, so yeah, that's easy. That's easy. So you think control is a big issue when you want to work in a prison system? Yes, if you have to bow to it. Mm -hmm. Or you be punished. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you can't just go up and run it over them and everything like that. Yeah, and I know I wouldn't work with nobody. That's what I'm saying, Miss Ida. Somebody with that type of talent, you know, folks, and you know, had that, especially patience, because again, you have to understand, you got regular people in there. Mm -hmm. You have street guys in there. Mm -hmm. You have uh, crazy ones in there. Then you have retarded people in there. You know what I'm saying? That just don't have no understanding. Then you have something that's mentally ill you have to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Because the only way the system a lot of times deal with them is send them to jail. And that's for you to watch. If that's your job. Right, so, right. So it's real messed you know, up. It's real messed up. And like Miss uh, Ida said, the only thing you can do is uh Pray about it, and, and hopefully they'll fix it. Hopefully they'll get it together soon. But if they get it together in one prison, doggone it, get it together in all the prisons. You know what I'm saying? Like, get it together in all of them. Because it's an issue in all of them, you know? And like Ms. Ida say, even though they, they did what they did, it just still don't 
It doesn't um, mean for you to just, you don't have to treat them like that. But I know most people probably be like, oh, what the hell they talking about? Them niggas is, you know, they, uh, I mean, <laughs> you know, people probably looking at us like right now, like, oh, man, what the hell? They didn't did well, this and this, this and that. They deserve that, you know. Uh, well, but I'll tell you this, if we going to speak on That's like a that, person that don't have a heart that feels like that. We all need to learn how to treat each other. I don't know. You know what I'm Y'all, saying? I'm, I'm kind of. It, it's easy to say that, but we all have to learn how to treat each other, too. You know what I'm saying? We can't expect the most out of them, but we, we have the same problem. Yeah. What? Ms. I just say I have a friend that worked in the prison system and now and she's now getting disability case because she lost it. Oh wow, for real? All right. All right. I don't know how they do it. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand how they do it. Do you have to understand too? Like I said, these people are putting. You got people that's been working the prison system for years. Right. You dig? So they've been putting on the mask. How long you been putting on the mask? Eight years, ten years. What you consider a mask? Like, what do you mean by that? When they come to work, a policeman a lot of times have to be police. They're mm -hmm. not themselves. Yeah. They have the uniform on there at work. Mm. So, because they're at work, they're not the same joy you see on Friday or Saturday at the corn store or anything like that. Mm -hmm. They kind of, uh, you know, on another level, they 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 mind is on strictly work. Uh, they 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 approach is different. They real aggressive because they want to they want to make sure they have the power and you're not trying to overpower them or over talk them or anything like that and you can tell that you can tell they want power just off how they talk and the thing is they're not going to listen to nothing you have to say and what you listen to everything they're saying so that's the sign of someone that wants power okay okay power of the conversation so if you're not going to listen to me it's all about what you say mm, that's deep when they come to police with yeah, they're yeah. not going to listen to what you have to say. Well, we already know about them policemen, y'all. They like, make that's a day a whole other, like talking and about. They it. look at if you. We're going to talk about the policemen. They really. Mm, if you look like, like a dope dealer, it. that's how they're going to treat you. That's how they're going to look at you. The policemen is straight up bull crap. They know they wrong. <coughs> a lot of them is wrong. For the no, they not do. all of them. But not all true. of them. I say a lot of them. You didn't know <coughs> say all. Let me get that right. I said a lot of them is bull crap. Not all of them. Some of them are some good hard working men that that's really want to protect the, the you know they city or whatever. But some of them is full of bull. Okay. What's our next story? Because I don't want to miss out on our next story. What's the next? One? Who we got? Oh wait a minute. To be mentally strong to work at a prison like y'all said, that's a strange people in there. This can work in there. Facts. These people being shot, not being treated, their blood on their beds. They sleep in their Yeah, that's sad. And 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 their response would be, "It's not my problem." Wow. That's why we have we have to do better, man. We have, we have to we have to do something different. You know, we see this is what's going on. We got to do something to change it. Yeah, I, I like I said, I just really hope. But it's great and speaking. pray that they change it all in all the prison systems, not just that particular you know one. And big ups to everybody that's locked up. You know what I'm saying? It's not a blog about blaming or point fingers or feeling like you're supposed to be where you at. Keep your head up, stay inspired, stay motivated. No matter how much people hate it, come out here and get your pain to be successful. Do your thing. You can only be the great you. You did. Okay, y'all, <laughs> on that note, I'm looking for another story y'all I had posted on the page about, this here was crazy, y'all. I don't know what y'all think about this one, but uh, it says something about, did I post it or not? I don't know if I posted it, but the man uh, was mixing the marijuana with his mama's ashes. Oh, and he was selling it. Well, they said they didn't know if no. he was selling it, but he said he ingested it. Did y'all see that story? Claude Amber. Yeah, the police uh 
the well, I guess they got a tip saying that they were selling drugs out the apartment. Um, and the police uh, sent a, a informant over there to buy the marijuana, and <laughs> they was that gave them the rights to go in and uh, you know arrest the people. And the the man said that that's what what was going on. He was uh, mixing the weed up with his mama's cremation, the, what they cremated, her ashes. Y'all, what kind of mess was that? Did y'all see that story? I have got a lost for words on that, but that's some crazy shit. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to um. No, out of all the, pull the story up and read it to out you guys. Out of all the Tim Tebow they got in the world, you want to roll grandma up, mama, a mama, and sell it to somebody. Yes. They didn't say that he was selling it to people, but he say he ingested it himself. Why would you want to smoke somebody? It was all over the new on the news, y'all. It was like a news channel that had that story. You know, we need a name. We need to go ahead on and name. Oh, I'm this sorry. Show. Hold on. We're gonna go ahead and name this show Retardation. That, that, that's all I'm hearing tonight. Retardation. She gonna say, "Let's change the subject." I'm getting emotional, Miss Ida. <laughs> Man, you brought it up though, so it's okay. Folk. I don't care, folks. Hell no. Yeah. I know you, man. Really, man. This person smoked the see, ashes. You, see, you know the story because you mama. had it too. Exactly. You is bizarre. You is crazy. Lord. Yeah. Lord. Lord. Hey, hey, whoever did that, that boy needs some work on phonics or something. Wait, Toy, what Toy said? Boy, that lost, man. Toy say he wants his mom to be with him forever, wherever he go, literally. Shit, shit. No, for oh, real. Man, no, no. <laughs> that T-Bone in the house. That no, T-Bone he in the house. No, he said he no. ingested. Wait a minute. Let me pull this story up. What, he ate it? I don't know. That's what they said. Oh, he swallowed the smoke or something? Yes. I'm thinking he smoked it. Yes, he was boy. smoking it. Wait a minute. Uh, and, you, and you know if Look, they cre- here it is right here. And if they cremating your mama, they cremating her butt and all that stuff. They, <laughs> so you rolled up her butt and all that shit and smoked it. Okay, a 26-year-old man, listen, y'all. A 26-year-old man is accused of selling drugs that were mixed with his mother's ashes. Police in Wisconsin, because it was in Wisconsin, said the man admitted to, to investigators he cut the drug he was using to dead his dead mother's cremated remains. Uh, but Kill your Tebow man. He didn't explain why, y'all. He didn't explain why he did it. Uh, okay, like I told y'all, the investigators received a tip that him and his girlfriend were selling drugs at the apartment. Um, the informant went to the apartment, bought some marijuana. Okay, they went in there, they busted him. Okay, that he had seventy grams of marijuana, a small amount of MDMA. Um, so how many grams had his mama? Bongs and drug with. scales. Okay, uh, according to the complaint, um, he tried to explain the large amount of unknown powder and vegetable material located in the apartment saying he mixed these substances with a variety for for a variety of reasons for a variety of reasons hey tiffany baby thank you for joining what's up what's up what's up okay y'all y'all listening to me let me read the comments okay man this story kind of messed me man you know you these two hell of a goddamn story, right? Now, we talked about one crazy fool moonwalked on the roof. <laughs> wow. And then he asked for a cigarette. Then he asked the policeman to beatbox so he can rap. Now we talking about some more crazy. So then they say, y'all, that uh, he took some of her ashes and mixed it with a variety of substances, some of which he ultimately ingested. This boy smoked this bottle. 
in a thinning blood. As a matter of fact, that's what we need today. <coughs> Boy smokes and rolls up his mama in a thinning blood. And then starts selling it to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Wow. Now make sure if you're watching this live, whoever he sold this to and got his mama ashes in your blood. That's right, tell him. If his mama ashes is in your blood. Yes, he was mixing his mama ashes with his weed. Make sure as you go on live, watching us on live, you go live on him. Just yes, the they said an informant. Uh, ain't that right? He did right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got you. Miss Ryder said that, that fool say how many grams of his mama. Wait a minute. You ain't lying, boy. Shit, how much you sold? Hello, like, Ricky, uh, baby. Thank you for joining. Uh, maybe his, oh, Miss Oprah say maybe his mom was a prostitute and that was his way uh, of oh, still Lord. putting out there to continue making money off of her. Oh, my goodness. Really? Oh, my goodness. Lord have mercy. Not, his, not the mama was a prostitute. Oh, my goodness. Really? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Uh, hey, Miss Vinny, thank you for joining, baby. What's up, girl? Man, but for what reason? For what reason would that boy put his mama ashes? Do y'all think it made the weed stronger or something? Man, what? Hey, man, what the hell are we talking about? I got my what we tagging about. Y'all think it made the weed He's stronger? Smoking, smoking okay. thing for mama. Man, you, you, but look, ashes is look ashes, at my baby y'all. Look at, look, do you understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, wait a minute, look at my baby. Look at hey. my baby looking. Ashes I mean, is you, ashes. Uh, what in the hell is y'all talking about? Did you hear? No, 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 no. Ashes is ashes, ashes, ashes y'all. Ashes to ashes. How you, uh, no. Right. Let me see what these, let me see what my baby is saying. Let me see what my baby is saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's like, oh, private area and stuff. We don't even know if she was taking showers. Man, oh, really, <laughs> man, boy, rolling up. Oh, 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 booty dust. Booty look, dust look, look. and, and oh. pro. Man, look at my baby laughing. He's going oh. clapping. Wait, y'all see my baby over here clapping? There it is. He's yeah, going well. clapping. No, uh, you can't have Papa all drink now. No. <laughs> Smoking on her nuts too. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Not her nuts. She got nuts. Ow. Oh my goodness. Y'all is a mess. Y'all a mess out here. I boom. see where y'all is. Oh, yeah. Boom. So, do y'all think that there's something Ow. wrong with this man? Do y'all believe that he's oh, mentally man. insane? <laughs> do y'all really he's think lying. he is mentally yeah, insane? That boy say drawing. Drawing oh, butt dust. You say drawing but does. Hey man, we're gonna roll really? up some 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 Tim Tebow. It's, oh, oh, oh. it's, it's some mama butt dust. Oh my goodness. Booty dust. Wait, Miss Oprah say booty dust. So I say booty dust, I'm dead. Well. Oh my goodness, y'all. Yes. Bye, y'all. Love y'all. Y'all gone? Yeah. Oh. Just make sure you go by his house. I'll tell you that, buddy. No, you won't. He lied to you. There ain't no Tebow. Bye. My baby's leaving, y'all. My bad, y'all. I told y'all we crazy, so I don't y'all don't know what we're gonna get over here. So we got interruptions and stuff. No. It's gonna be all right. He probably was thinking about that. Too. Yeah, he do look like something was wrong with him. Like oh, on that picture, we I'm looking at it now. I'm gonna smoke this shit. Get me in throat. I mean, but the man probably was just hurt about losing his mama. You guys, y'all know I look at both sides of the story. What well, about the <laughs> fuck is the man me. probably was just hurt from losing his mom, and maybe like uh, Toy say, that was like one of the ways to. Um, he, oh hell no. We, no! No, 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 we ain't for the end dog soft like that. Wait a minute. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, wait a minute. Nah, what you mean? Wait a what? This nigga fired up some Tebow with his mama in it. The ashes of his mom. Man, that shit probably stink like dog. 
Dude, you can tell the difference. He knew the difference. He knew what he was doing. But no, I'm talking about the people he sold it to. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'd have to come back there and say, no, bro, this shit don't taste the same. It's a, it's no, 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 no. It's something wrong. It say, wait a minute. It says the complaint doesn't indicate if he mixed the cremated remains in any of the drugs he was accused of selling. So he didn't say that he sold he he sold you know that to other people. He didn't say that. He didn't admit to that. Okay, well, we ain't got no facts in that. My bad, brother. I'm say you're the bad man. Miss Opa say maybe his mom overdosed on meth and he wanted to smoke that smoke whatever she had. Wow. Okay, Miss Lynn say he did say his mom had passed away about a year ago. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like the woman, she just passed. So maybe it was like yeah, that, that woman could have passed 49 years ago. Man, why in the hell would you want to smoke a roller? Miss Ida say it should have smelled funny. Hell yeah, that's what I say, man. Yeah, yeah man. I don't think he sold it to anybody. Man, you smoking that, that woman titties and a butt and all that stuff, man. That's your, then that's your mama, man. Come on. Man. I think he, he just did it himself. Man. Maybe uh, maybe they didn't even say the girlfriend did it. They just said he did it. So maybe that was just a, his no, thing. No, because we don't like to smoke by ourselves a lot of times. He probably fired up with somebody else. We don't, because it ain't like we watch people roll and stuff. He probably fired up people smoke. I thought it was some new kind of shit, you know? But he will. He got to go to court Tuesday, y'all. Um, they and guess what? They released him on a signature bond, but they scheduled him to go back to court January twenty eighth. So they did they arrest? They didn't arrest him for smoking on his mom's ashes, right? They arrested him for selling drugs. Cause smoking on your mom ashes, that's a um that's a problem. That's like a, a mental thing. Wow. All the trees in the world you want to smoke. So I say, what happened if she had a disease though that he didn't know oh, of? That's Claude messed up. Y'all, come on now. <laughs> Let's yeah, keep it one hundred, please. Yeah, We're she talking is about keeping it one hundred. If she had a disease, you know it. He had bumps around his mouth. But what I'm saying, we're that talking about a episode. burned body, you guys. We're talking about a, when you hey, cremated your body, look, it's burned. Look, with, so with, it's not going to be any disease. When you got them crabs or, or whatever you got. You <laughs> gonna have them even when you're dead. Somebody eat them to eat you, uh, smoke you. They gonna have it too. I mean, you're not Hell gonna have. God. You're not gonna have. I mean, it's that's a bird right, Todd. <laughs> it's a bird body, y'all. We talking about ashes. Yeah, that's crazy. Like literally ashes, like ashes you get off of a wine or something. You know, I'm sorry, I don't know how that that cremation ashes look, but but a great story because it's gonna make me watch everybody. They roll down the match. <laughs> Man, y'all, we laughing, but that's funny. I'm not gonna lie. This is funny. That's a funny story. I'm sorry. I've never heard of anything like that ever, and it's getting more and more crazier, y'all. What the heck? You smoking your mama ashes? Like who do that? Never heard of anything it'll, it'll like that. Your brain damage. Okay, okay. Oh, look over the smoke. Ah. Do you really think he gonna tell the laws he sold his mama? Nigga, hell no. Nah. Right, he not gonna tell the laws then. Boy, I say, boy, look here. Yeah, boy, look here. It's gonna look like the million man march. He telling people he sold that shit to, to these people, man, with his mama in it. But it's gonna, Do y'all really think he did look that? Here, oh man. my goodness. And the people gonna be all around that boy. Do you know how horrible that would be if he sold that with his mama ashes in it? Oh my God. Goodness. I mean, the people you think bought actually thought it was good, though. That's what I'm saying. Was it Kobe? <laughs> was it Tebow? <laughs> I mean, did it make a difference? I mean, I don't know. That's crazy. No, no that's Buto. <laughs> he said that's Buto. There ain't no Tebow there. That's Buto. Did it make a difference, y'all? Smoke crabs. <laughs> Y'all killing me with these comments. Uh, Ash Buddocks. <laughs> Ash Buddocks. See, I don't know who worse, Uncle Y'all. <laughs> Y'all killing me with these comments. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> 
Unk say Ash Badox. Wow. Look at this T-Bow with his ass butt out. Now this is going to get your eye open. Wait, Miss Ida say smoke bed bug. <laughs> Real dog. She says it's not too late. His mom traveling. Well, oh, that guy is <laughs> Wait a minute. She says his mom traveling. Oh, my <laughs> goodness, you guys. Oh, that is horrible. What that old school cat used to say? What this world going to? That is so horrible, you guys. Like, I felt like this story was just uh, the ultimate craziness. Man, both of them stories was good, man. I mean, both of them was, like, kind of crazy. Two the stories. first one, too. That's what I said, a retardation. He said retarded. Man, I, I think both of them was kind of crazy. The man on the roof today, which went viral remember, today. Remember back in the day, people used to do this here? You, you, you grew up on them, you do this here, at you? They say, hey, man, he's straight, man, the old folks said that. Kind of crazy. I was kind of showing y'all here today, man. The two crazy people. Oh, God, man. You got people laughing at you. Yeah, uh, yeah, the man on the roof dancing and rapping with the cigarette. I'm sorry, y'all. Taking the cook. <laughs> Taking the coin about to hang himself. I don't think that one was, that was, I mean, to me, that wasn't funny because you don't know where that man mind was at. Either he was on drugs or he just literally was hurt. Man, no. It, 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 look, you know what? Let, let, let's just let's just make this clear. If a person was serious about killing themselves, they're not gonna do all that stuff. Oh that's yeah. That's what everybody was saying too. If he really wanted to kill himself, y'all, he would have jumped. Yeah, and he man, kept yeah. jumping backwards off. He kept jumping back onto the rooftop, you know, because he man, was on the ledge. That boy moonwalked on the roof. Yeah, he moonwalked on the and ledge. Then, and then had to pack the police to beatbox so he could start rapping. <coughs> Excuse me. Ms. Ida said, they say when you pass away, your spirit lives on. He's making sure of that. Okay. He most definitely making sure of that because he's smoking her up. He just slipped off that roof. He sure would. Yeah, but like I was saying, like I really <laughs> believe, like the man, um, <clears throat> like the like, yeah, he I'm saying this man was walking on that on the on the ledge of the thing, like he was on some kind of balance beam. He kept falling off, going back on the regular little, you know, the little, um, I guess you could say what you could call it, the roof. Literally, where you can walk on, he kept falling back on that. Like, man, you ain't want to kill yourself. Why you? Why you getting it, trying to play? Hell, man, man. Why you trying to do that? You wasn't trying to kill yourself. Like, come on. That man loved that woman, and he probably he did. If that was the situation, yeah, he probably did love his he wife like that. Yeah. And sometimes that'll push you to the edge. And he literally was on the edge, about to fall. But <clears throat> luckily, he was blessed for them to get to him on time and get him some some help. Hopefully, hopefully they got him some help and not just throw him in jail. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, they sent him to a hospital to make see if he was like something was wrong with him or something. And so far, so, that, that woman, that woman did what she was supposed to. What a any good real woman was supposed to do. She sat in the car, get a drink and a shot glass, and sit in the car and say, "Let a fool be a fool." You want to jump his ass down? Hey, I'm just gonna pick up the face. Did, did they did they say that she went talk to him or anything? You don't need to talk to him. You can talk. All they were saying was she was in a car, like sitting in a the car. They didn't say she went talk to him or anything yeah, like that. So I don't know about that, y'all. Well, if I was in pep class, <clears throat> what'd you say? He was probably in pep class, so you gotta watch me. Oh my goodness. Oh, Yes, he did not have on. Yes, he had on. Um, <clears throat> at first, when I first seen it, it, looked like he did have on some shorts or something. I don't know if it was shorts or pants, but he did have on something, and then he took that off and was in his boxers. I'm a moonwalk in my drawers, to y'all. And then I think he started throwing them at the police because they was like um, in the tree. I think they said they had a police in the tree. That was trying, I guess, talk to him and talk him down or whatever, and he started throwing it at him or something. <clears throat> then he started walking around in his, oh, walking around, and then they start 
hanging off of him. You see all his butt crack and stuff. I was like, oh, you doing too much, brother. Get down from there. Like, get down. He didn't want to go viral. He did that. Well, he most definitely went viral. He went viral. He most definitely went viral. If that's the attention oh, that he wanted. Girl, I mean, and they had people everywhere. Like, they had people at the, the Shell station. They had people at the uh, the other gas station across the street. So, yeah, he most definitely did that. If he wanted attention, he got it. He most definitely received it <clears throat> to that. <clears throat> what y'all think should happen to him? Yeah, uh, I'm saying, well, what do y'all believe should happen to the man? What do y'all think that the law should uh, do? Like I said, I hope they brought him to a hospital. <clears throat> yeah, they said she didn't want to have anything to do with him. I mean, that's what, allegedly, that's what the people were saying, but we'll never know. I mean, I don't know, but that's what they were saying. That's what said, he's going to kill himself. Yeah, I guess that's what he said, that he was going to, well, you don't want to be with me, and you're going to kick me out or whatever. I'm just going to kill myself. But he didn't. And that's that's a shame for you even say that. And the woman was sitting in the car, so evidently she must say, yeah, I know type of feeling about the situation because she was just sitting in the car. <clears throat> so maybe she didn't care, right? Like when you're done, you're done. Uh uh, we ain't gonna do that. <laughs> you hear him back there, y'all? Y'all hear us back there? We ain't gonna do that one right there. We ain't gonna even get on the Kelly man. When the women did it. Uh uh. Hold on, y'all. I'm getting the comments. He was scratching to do do bites. <clears throat> okay, so I say I work with mental health. <clears throat> I work with mental health. He probably really snapped for a minute, just for a split second. Or like y'all said, it could be for attention. They're going to put um him on a 72-hour hold. Yeah, somebody else told me that, Toy, that they probably gonna put him on a 72-hour hold to see if he just really yeah, that's just whole, crazy that's whole or problem. What do we have? For these type of people that that go through this is, is the question. Yeah, this thing sucks. My comments is really like showing you up slow. Him, you just sent him for seventy two hours. He going there and talk to his home <laughs> or take a few naps and he good. I think they're going to take him to be rehabilitated, right, so uh huh, and to jail. He goes mm -hmm. wasted taxpayers' yeah, money. Yeah, well, you don't need to go to jail. Okay, Miss Opa say psych psych hold. Yeah, that's, that's what they right. gonna do. They gonna put him on a psych hold. Well, no, he don't, he don't need no psych hold. He needs some psych adjusting and some psych counseling. He don't need no psych. But what if he just snap? Like, no, I mean, people I said, can do that, y'all. What, what are they gonna do? Put like, him in jail and put that. him in a cell by himself? How is that going? Especially when it comes to women, you know, people can do that. Men can lose their minds sometimes too. But when Hell it comes yeah. to they, they, they wife and girlfriends Hell and. Yeah. Right. I mean, they can do that, y'all. So maybe but he just stops. Look, it's a, it, look, it's a big difference between uh, uh, goddamn Barack Obama and Pee Wee Herman. Is all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? The, the dude did. He, 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 he probably he is retarded or so. And he, jail is not going to help him. He needs some conversation. He needs some Come conversation. Some, he mm -hmm. needs some speech. Yeah, to see where you really at. You ain't gonna see where you really at like that in jail. Yeah, I think he really needs to go get some help. I mean exactly. yeah. either way it go, what <coughs> excuse me, either yeah, way it go toy. either way it go, whether it was drugs or just him snapping from losing his wife. Hello, Cyrus baby. Thank you for joining. What's up, what's up? Wow, you know, wow, um, wow. either way it go, whether it was from him on drugs or him just snapping from losing his wife, he still needs some help, you guys. The bottom line to it, he still needs some counseling. He still with needs raw, some... With the retardation staff. He still need help. All right. All right. Hey, we all got to retard. They're going to take him to jail after he leaves the psych ward. If nothing was wrong with him. But that's the thing. How they know if something wrong with him? You just talking about a man mm -hmm. just, just stood on the roof and started moonwalking. 
I mean, that's retardation all the time. I'd have called the law. I, I'm a street cat. I'd have called the law just watching the moon walk on, on, on the building. I'm going to tell you, you know, he's an But my thing is, why they going to take him to jail? He didn't do anything to nobody. He, did, he was trying to hurt himself. So why would they take him to jail? You know what I'm saying? Yes, but he, they, 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 <clears throat> oh, yeah. They didn't need that. Why would they take him to jail? They need to take him to a hospital. Like y'all said, a 72-hour hole and then let that man go. Because, like I said, we don't know if he was on drugs. Maybe he needs to just come down off man, his drugs. Man, he put all this extra or, talking for nothing. Man, that dude was not on drugs. He wanted that Oh, Or attention. he was just hurt. That boy had a concert up there on that roof. He did have a concert, he was. He, he wasn't up there like he used to jump off. And that's why I say somebody. That's why I say, well, you don't need that say that. It's almost like bring him to Rusk. No, bring him to the law and say, Law, just put ice all over Ms. him. Mrs. Wynn said you can best believe they did a drug <laughs> test on him. Yes. It's me. I'm retarded. Cyrus. <laughs> Cyrus, I told you, Cyrus. <clears throat> it was you up there, Cyrus. No, it wasn't, boy. Stop playing. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say I'm retarded. Yeah. Somebody, it's me. I'm retarded. Well, crazy. I ain't gonna call a man retarded, y'all. Like I say, we don't know the situation. No, but I'm not calling him retarded. I'm just saying that's retardation. I mean, how many cats you know just go? Don't get me wrong. I know people be in love, things like that. But the thing is, if you so in love to the point where you'll kill yourself, that means you don't love yourself. So if you don't love yourself, you can't possibly love anyone. Exactly. And that's what I was saying. You know what saying? Why would they take him so, to jail when he was actually trying to hurt himself? Again, he didn't he wasn't trying to hurt nobody else. If I was that woman, I wouldn't have got out either. <clears throat> They're going to say it was wasted resources. They could have been elsewhere for some Yeah. Yeah, man. That would have pissed okay, me off. Okay, but okay, but you know, that was kind of serious. Nobody That's a serious see. issue. You have to respond to but, that. But look, but look, let's look at him this end too. At least he, he didn't jump off. He didn't. He's safe. He didn't die. He didn't. That's a good point. But who's to say he's not under a suicidal watch now since he's up in there? Well, that's that's a day. That's and that's why they got him on a seventy-two hour hold, probably. That's seventy-two hours, man. I, I hope it make a change for him, but not that. Well, it's that, not gonna that, make a change that, that, that if his wife cool. ain't taking him back. That's exactly. If they say that was the reason, right? We're not, we're not, we're not changing anything. So, if know. it's not gonna change, he's gonna go back out there and try to try to do it again. So oh, yeah. maybe he just needs to be in the hospital somewhere. But like y'all say, they ain't gonna keep him long. Seventy-two hours ain't long at all. So that's crazy. That's crazy. That man did that for clout. Oh yeah. You think he did it for clout? Yeah, you think he did that for clout? Yeah, yeah. Maybe he was a he, man. I don't know. He was enjoying himself up there, and he's seeing all them people looking at him and stuff like that. He knew he was gonna go viral. <clears throat> like that. Yeah, he he really got the attention. He was enjoying himself. <clears throat> he started rapping and talking crazy, and I don't even know. Did y'all hear everything that he was saying up there? Could y'all hear him? Mm -mm. I don't know, but y'all, they got some crazy stuff going on in the world. People doing some crazy stuff. I don't know if it's for cloud or if it's really they they really seeking for help or attention or whatever the case may be. But it's it's getting crazy and crazier out here, you guys. It's getting crazy and crazier. <clears throat> That's wild, man. She said that man was not, Ms. Wynn said that man was not suicidal. If he was suicidal, he wouldn't have do it. He wouldn't have did it in front of people. Suicidal people kill themselves when they're alone. Hmm. So you saying he was most definitely seeking attention. Well, guess what? He got it. He got all the attention he needed. Now, I don't know if that, that brought his wife back to him, but he most definitely got the attention that he needed. On some real stuff. What you looking at, Unc? Uh, 
I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at some uh, some news that kind of missed out on. Uh-uh. You know, just a, just a day ago, they were saying Taco Bell. Uh, they uh they gonna try to start paying managers a hundred thousand a year. Uh, so that that's like four times more than what they make right now. What they explain. Okay, well, hold that story. We're gonna uh, get to that story. We're gonna talk about that next. Uh, we're gonna talk about that story next time. Blessings, we, yeah, bad. yeah, we're gonna talk about that story next time. So, y'all, but anyway, we just came on tonight just to talk about that. Yes, and Tits yeah, Seeker, he was. Enjoy it too. Enjoy. Yeah, we just came on to talk about that with you guys to see how you guys felt about these two stories. And, um, you know, we got to go, y'all. We got to go. I told y'all I don't like to keep y'all long. We can keep y'all long enough tonight. So we're going to shut this thing down. Like I said, we love you guys. Oh, and please make sure you guys like, share, and comment like y'all been doing. I appreciate that. Much love. Much love. And y'all, go subscribe to the YouTube channel, please. Yes, I will be going live. I know I keep saying this, you guys, but I'm still trying to get it together. Okay? And I think I got it together, but I just got to make sure. So go subscribe. I have four subscribers, so that's not bad. But we need more people to subscribe. Y'all looking, y'all watching. Come on, whoever who haven't subscribed, whoever that has not subscribed, go subscribe to Like Talking About It channel, you guys. Go subscribe. You know, but we're going to keep uploading the videos. You know, we're going to keep the videos coming until we get it together. Okay? Like we love you guys. It. We love you guys. And you got to say yo, yo, yo outings, punk. Tomorrow Friday, big, y'all. Big ups to everybody that tuned in today. You know what I'm saying? We enjoy it. Appreciate it. Thank you for the comment. Talked about it. You did. You know what I'm saying? So Uncle Roy 45, Mama Fuga 45. I like talking about it. Tomorrow it will be going down. It'll be official. You dig fish scale at nine in. o'clock. I'm gonna have top motherfucking eight new rap videos coming out. We're gonna be speaking on the rap business. We're gonna be speaking on just things that's coming out, projects, releases, all the updates, the mess, the trash, the good, the ugly. Mess with the boy. You dig the vernacular mouthpiece, Uncle Roy, Mom Fee, like talking about it to next time. Blah out. And on that note, you guys, we love you, Ida, baby. Thank you for all. You know I know you doing it. You doing it. I know. So I love you guys. And we out. Peace out. All right. I think I ended it.